so hello friends i am neeraj hope you are doing great so in in uh, today's session we will see how we can use environment variables within our react native application so in to in the previous session we have successfully connected our mobile app to our backend api and uh, we also posted our contact form contact form info onto our onto this url and we also got the response but here there is a problem like uh, we hard coded this our host information into the our file itself so actually this is a bad idea and ideally like uh, like api keys secrets and uh, your api endpoints and other important stuff that may or may not change over a uh, period of time so ideally the best place to store those information into our environment and uh, this is why like uh, in uh, in today also we will uh, move our this uh, this uh, api host information from this hard coded value into environment so in the in order to use the environment in our react native application we have to use another package also so we will install we will use this package react native dot env package and uh, this is pretty simple so all we have to follow the steps so we will first we will copy and we will install this dependency so here in the terminal just uh, paste it and hit enter so it will install all the dependencies so yes so our uh, that package has been installed and now at the very root level so we will create one file and uh, we will name it env and here we will define our api host like this and we will copy this information this our host information from here to here and uh, we will paste it here like this and save it and just close it this is not required and also we before uh, before using it we also need to do some changes in our babel file so here it is already written so we just uh, we have to open this file so just open there is a file called babel dot babel config babel dot config dot js file so we will paste this code from here so this is a by the way this is a plugin actually so we will copy this out from here and we will paste here and the most important thing is actually block li listed and all these are i mean minimum uh, these three are required so so we will save it and once so by, by the way like this 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 thing is very required module name cause this is a basically this will this will create an allies and uh, we will start using importing from only referring to this and we have to define the path also what is the uh, what is the path of the our environment file so we can skip skip this also no worries and uh, next now since we have uh, uh, got the uh, the got the environment variables and uh, we have already installed the package so actually we also need to uh, close the existing instance of our of our application and we will need to start it from fresh because whenever there is any change in the environment so we need to restart our application so give the so by the by the time it is starting so let us come here and now since uh, we are very we can very easily read uh, we can import the our environment variable like this we had defined it as a api host from and here we can say env and this env is a is the this one this at env this is a module name for this rep, for this uh, this is an allies actually so we can import it like this and now here we can in a state of this one so we will write it something like backtick because we are go also going to use it as a variable so like this and now all we have to do pass the contact our routing information that's it and now our api and uh, we can also like uh, print it here also maybe try to do a console log 
console.log and API URL okay so now let us see what happens so okay and now try to like say Amit Kumar and his mobile number is let's say one two three four five and uh, I am learning environment variable and send it so yes we got the response so our uh, and here also we uh, we can see so yes so it is working fine so this was our api host and uh, we got the response correctly so we have successfully moved from moved our hard coded value into environment and actually this this is this comes as a best practice so i would suggest uh, i mean this is this is the way like i i used to keep all my secret information into environment in state of the hard coded value so that what if like maybe sometime we change our api api endpoint so instead of uh, going uh, checking each and updating uh, modifying each and every file so all we have to do is we can come here and we can uh, make the changes appropriate changes at one single place and uh, it will be applied across our application so i th i hope like uh, you enjoyed this session and uh, any questions or anything so please don't hesitate in reaching me out and any suggestions so please feel free to uh, provide me the, your uh, appropriate advices or appropriate uh, feedbacks so till then take care and happy coding